So welcome back to another episode of my Spurs Next Gen FIFA 21 career mode in the European Premier League today. Big games against Dortmund and also Man City. Now, I think we can beat Man City, but I'm not sure about Dortmund. Haaland up front, anything can happen there. But the most important thing is that we're starting to get some points now in the season. We've got 10 points. We're still in ninth place, so there's a lot of catch-up work to do after a pretty inconsistent start. We're still eight points behind Barcelona, who are leading the way undefeated. Six wins and no losses. I mean, they're going to be the team to beat, I guess. But all we can do is win our games and see what happens. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free, so please do so and help the channel out. So I want to thank you guys for the support on this series. Hopefully this channel can grow a bit more and we can do some more series in the future. So let's get into the match against Dortmund and uh, they got Haaland up front. Pretty good team so far. No Sancho starting, but... Actually, Sancho's playing left back. What the hell is going on there, EA? Sancho left back. Can you believe it? My goodness. EA, you're taking the position conversion feature a little bit too far when Sancho's playing left back. But in our team, we've got the 4-5-1 back again. And hopefully we can get a goal with Promise. And also Kane needs to start firing a bit more as well. But let's get into it. Full strength, Spurs team. Let's see how we go. So there we go. There's the bus. And Son is ready to go once again. Eight goals in the Premier League. The top scorer. What a start to the season he's had. So here we go. Signal Iduna Park looking beautiful. Nice lighting here. And uh, look at that. Look at that tackle. Here we go. And Brent recovers straight away. Oh my goodness. Another EA partner club, by the way. So you never know what's going to happen. What are my midfielders doing? Seriously. Lucas is just standing there. Can you take a look at Lucas? He's just standing there. Waiting for me to call him. Munier. Guerrero. Brandt, we block it, they'll get it back again for the third time, Guerrero, nice work, Skriniar, my goodness, Skriniar's been playing well, here's Promise, go yourself son, he's got the pace, he's got plenty of pace, that's why I got him, but look at this, Quincy Promise with the finesse, oh, it's straight at the keeper, here's La Chelsea into Kane, oh, what a run from Bale, can he score, oh, they foul him, Quincy Promise turns and shoots, and it's a good save by the keeper. And here we go. Here's a corner. Great start by Spurs so far. Kane with the header. Oh, he hits it wide. What is going on with this guy? Come on, Kane. You've got to do better, man. 90 overall strike and misses a sitter. Brandt. Here we go again. Delaney on the ball. Plays it out wide. Have to contain him here. Delaney. Regulon. Oh, no, it's a goal. It's a goal for Dortmund. So let's see what happened here. Where's my midfield? Just standing there. I hate this thing because every game it happens. It's something that EA has done. They need to like figure out a new way to do it because the midfielders are not dropping back to actually defend. That's very annoying because it just le leaves them more chances to score. And that's what's happening every time I can see it. It's so frustrating once you spot it because you just want them to come back and help, but they never do. Here's Lucas. Nice. Here we go. Promise. Quincy Promise once again. Lays it off. The Chelsea. Son's making a run. He's through. Son to chip it. Oh, he can't get the chip. And they clear it once again. Brent. Delaney. Can't take it off these guys. Well done, Old Wild Roll. That was a big chance. I mean, sometimes the defending just doesn't work in this game. And here we go again. Guerrero whips it in. And uh, Lloris comes out and punches it back into the middle. Might as well just give him another goal. And Son's going to take it out. Haaland absolutely kills Son there. Witzel. Get the ball off him for crying out loud. Oh no, well, Lloris, what are you doing, son? Oh, Straight to Haaland. And he buries it. Oh my goodness, Lloris. Trying to get the ball off Witzel there. We actually get it. I play it back to Lloris to actually hit it away. And uh, something happens there. He loses control of it. And it falls straight to Haaland. What can you do about that? I don't know what to do, man. These EA partner clubs are crazy. Can't get it off him. Rayner again. Delaney. Chips it over the top. And we could get there. No, we don't. And the header goes wide. So the Tinker Man is back. We're going to change formation here because it's just not working for me at the moment. We're going to bring in Hoiberg there. Son plays up top. I know it's a bit of a mess, but I have to try something different. We're losing 2-0. This formation, I think it's run its course. Ball inside. Witzel. There's another goal coming, boys. 
It's another goal coming. Here's Rayner. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. The defending. Oh, every time. It's probably me. It's probably me with my bad defending. But they're just so good at dribbling. Like, everyone dribbles like Ronaldinho. It's like, oh, I can't even get near them. It's like they've got, like, this radius around them where you can't even go near them. I just can't do nothing. I'm just a witness to this match. I'm just a, a willing victim of this match. There's no offense for me. It's just basically trying not to concede as many goals as possible. And that ball falls perfectly to them. Oh, my goodness. Is it scripting or is it me? Get it off him. Look at this. They've all got the strength of Lukaku. And they've all got the skills of Ronaldinho. Every player, no matter what overall they are. That's what I get upset about with this game sometimes. It's an absolute write-off this game. We played... I don't know if we played bad. It was just nothing we could do. Look, I don't think we even... I mean, we had a shot early on, but let's take a look at the stats. 61% possession for Dortmund. 10 shots. We had 5, 2 on target. Not much we could do there. I just, just thought we were useless. But let's see what the press says. That was a very tough game for you and a very disappointing result. You don't look happy at all. Of course I'm not happy. Um, we have to make sure... Look, you can't win every week. Got to be the Mr. Solskjaer positive man. You never really looked like scoring today and it ended up as a pretty em emphatic defeat. I'll just say we just didn't cope defensively. We were terrible at the back. It wasn't a great result for you against Dorman, obviously. Maybe there are several reasons why it happened, but was your in inability to deal with Guerrero the key? I'll just say it's about our own performance. Nothing about Guerrero. Well, Man City have put in an offer for Kane, 150 million. At the rate that Kane's playing at, I mean, it's a tempting offer. We could buy some decent strikers for that money. All right, so the Tinker Man is back. And we have to do another change here. I'm going to a 4-4-1-1 with uh, Promise and La Chelsea playing at center mid. You guys must think I'm an idiot, man, with these formations. But I'm just trying stuff out. The Tinker Man. I've never been a Tinker Man, but this season, it's made me a Tinker Man. Bale on the right, Moore on the left, Son and Kane. Look at the firepower we have, and we can't do nothing. Absolutely ridiculous. And I think I'm going to play around with these tactics, because right now, it's just not working for me. They don't drop back enough. I'm just going to have to, like... Hope for the best here. I like fast build-up and stuff. So hopefully these things make a difference. Because right now, nothing is working for me. It feels like we have one great game and then back to square one again. Barcelona going to go undefeated. Man City behind them. I mean, if we can win, that's a big result. Because we could get 13 points, which is not enough to jump anyone. It's not looking good at the moment, but at least we're not in the relegation zone. I don't know how we lost to Dorman. They've only got five points. Another EA partner club coming up. So scripting will kick in any time. So let's just see how we go there. Hopefully Quincy Promise at center mid plays good because Hoiberg was a disaster when I played him last game. And here comes the bus again. Kane, when are you going to score a goal, mate? Son, I think he's still top scorer. Who knows? But it looks like he is. The attention is on him once again. Better show up today. Here's the Aguero coming out of the Man City bus. There's a nice supercar behind him. It's an English Premier League game technically, and uh, that means we can probably win this game. We beat United pretty comfortably. So hopefully Man City doesn't show up to play today. Aguero. Skriniak takes it off in beautiful work, son. And here's Quincy Promise with some pace. Look at the pace on him. Played into Son. Son's going to go himself and Laporte takes it off him. Lucas Moura comes across, but Laporte has a 99 pace by the looks of it today. Gareth Bale plays it into Quincy Promise. Oh, what a pass into Son. Got a score here. Son with the finish. Oh, no, he hits the top of the bar and it stays out. It was a beautiful pass from Promise. Hopefully, we can get more chances like that. Promise does well. Bit of a counter here. Son looking for someone here. Lucas was making a run, but then he stopped running. And here's Lucas again. Inside to Son. He's going to have another shot straight at the keeper. Quincy Promise lays it off. Son. Beautiful attacking play here by Spurs. Finds Kane. Son's making a run. He's through on goal. This is a beautiful play if we can score. Oh, yes, we can. Son grabs another one. The ninth goal for the season. Boy, did we need that one. Well, we built up pretty well. Son made a great run. That's why I got him at Cam because he can make those runs. He's not scared to run. And uh, we laid it off. Kane plays very good supportively. He's not scoring goals, but he's still vital in the, the build-up, in the support play. And uh, I would love for him to score. But if Son's scoring, then... We've got a chance of winning some games. Gareth Bale lays it off to Quincy Promise. And he loses out. Mendy. He's got to watch them through balls, man. This is dangerous. De Bruyne on no turn. Mendy. Scrinia can't get it off Mendy. Oh, my goodness. Why are they just letting them run? And luckily, we blocked that. Get up. Get up, Larice. 
why are we just letting them run? And somehow we survived the half and we're leading. Somehow. Can we take it off him? Aguero. Scrinia. Oh, good save, Loris. I've got a problem of diving in. There's no point in me trying to tackle the players. You're better off just jockeying, it, jockeying them. Because the moment you commit, that's it. They're through. So I'm just going to jockey from now on. Here we go. Don't commit. Just jockey. Oh, I, I did that and uh, <laughs> just ran straight past him. Oh. What can I do? I'm going to bump it down to professional or something because there's nothing I can do defensively in this game that works. Look at this. <laughs> I jockey him and Scrinia just runs straight past him. Well, we all know what's coming. De Bruyne on the ball. It's going in. <laughs> it was going in. Lucas Moura, can you turn? Oh, they're, they're first to every ball. It's so annoying. There we go. Oh, no. Here we go again. Round two with De Bruyne. Ten minutes to go. He goes for it again. Oh my goodness, what a strike. Can we get rid of it? Lloris collects. Let's go yourself, son. Lloris, what is he doing? Oh, he's played it into Bale. This guy's phenomenal. Run, son. Run. Use your pace. Lloris is a genius. Bale! Oh, he's missed. How do you miss? You've got to be kidding me. Gareth Bale on the left foot. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, he's fluffed it completely. Well, uh, your day's done, Bale. Your day is absolutely done because that was useless. Unbelievable. Lloris did so well to read that. Bale made a great run. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he just fluffs it. That would have been a huge goal and a tactical genius move by our guys there. This episode's not going well, is it? Here's Son. Oh, he's going to outrun him. Son. Into Kane. Please, Kane. Yes! Harry Kane scores. And it was all Son as well. Big goal moments kicks in and Tottenham Hotspur Stadium has erupted. Oh, everyone's going crazy. Look at that. The fans have jumped the barricade. Mr. Calm has run across as well. Oh, that was important. That is a big goal moment right there. Look at that. That guy's jumping around. Everyone is going crazy. Oh, I thought it was all over when Bale fluffed the shot. But Son does well and Harry Kane just got there. I thought Kyle Walker was going to take it off him. Luckily, we go 2-1 up, man. That was a big goal. We need the three points. Well, we all know what's coming. There's about three minutes left. And, of course, one more attack is enough for KDB to score or uh, Gabriel Jesus or Sterling. So hopefully we can drop it to ultra-defensive ultra and try and get something out of this game. I need to win as the clock ticks over the 90. Four minutes of added time for nothing. One more attack. They chip it over the top again. Can we clear it? Oh, what are you doing? That was so dangerous. Here's Lucas Moura into Harry Kane. On the counter here, Harry Kane. He could take another goal for us. 1-1. One one. Oh, yes. Too easy for him. 3-1. How? How have we done this? I'll take it, but how have we done this? Finally, Kane is back on the score sheet. Two goals today. And there's Lloris going crazy again. That's me right now around the room. Well, I'm happy that we got a win after getting pumped by Dortmund. How did we get these goals, man? Oh, yes. Final whistle. We've survived this match against Man City. A team coming second as well. I'm telling you, the Premier League games are the easiest ones to play sometimes. Well, it was definitely looking like uh, they were getting back into it, but somehow we pulled off a victory. Both teams were even, except Man City got 65% possession. So a little bit of counter-attacking football by Spurs today. Maybe this formation did the job. Well, Mr. Karma has a smile on his face once again. Let's see what he has to say. The headlines after today will be all about Kane's stunning performance and his two goals will, which sealed the victory. What are your thoughts about your star player? We'll just say he capped a good team display. Oh, I don't know if it was a good team display. The last 30 minutes were very nerve-wracking. Couldn't have asked more from him today. He delivered two goals. Up against Man City, this seemed a hard game to call. You must be delighted with the win. And I'll just say we defended really well. I don't know about that. We took our chances. Yeah, we took our chances, but that wasn't a good performance. But I have to pump up the players. I'll just say we defended really well. Sometimes you've got to be a soul shire in this game. That was a pretty impressive three-goal win for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, I'll just say we deserved our goals today. Well, that victory keeps us in ninth place ahead of Chelsea. And we've got 13 points now. Bayern Munich have uh, overtaken Barca, but Barca got the game in hand. 21 points is the target. But the good news is we took points off Man City, who are ahead of us. And that's always a good thing, but there's still plenty of games to go there. Let's take a look at the schedule for next episode. See what the 
lineup brings. We've got Chelsea. I think we can beat them. We seem to be pretty good in the Premier League game so far. And then PSV. So next episode could be a six-pointer episode if nothing goes wrong. And then we've got Arsenal in the cup and then Leipzig. So a couple of easier games up next. I feel like we can get some points there in the next two episodes coming. So hopefully we can uh, you know, get over 20 points. But anyway, that's all for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more episodes on this channel and help grow the channel as well. And if you need something else to watch, please make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video. I'll see you next time.